Hey family, hey butterflies, hello, 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 I'm back. As you see, I am doing a celebrity reading. Now, this was not a request reading. I can care less what goes on with these celebrities, okay? But I do, uh, there are certain celebrities that, um, you know, um, that will cross my mind, okay? For whatever reason, they will cross my mind. And please know, when they cross my mind, it's something going on with them. And it's like, when they cross my mind, I decide to do like a reading on them. It never fails. Within three weeks, definitely less than a month, or less than two months, something comes out about them. And, I don't, and I'm not going to say like some sort of a scandal or anything, but, you know, it would be some sort of news that would come out about that celebrity, okay? And um, it can be positive. It can be positive news, you know. Maybe it could be something going on with them in personal life. But anyway, um, I'm doing a reading on Nomani. She is an American singer and dancer. And she used to um, be in the group, the Fifth Harmony group. And uh, she's one of the ex-members, all right? But now she's pretty much going solo and she's doing her and um, not only can she sing, but the sister can jam. She can dance her butt off, okay? And she's very talented. But anyway, with that being said, I sat here and I was meditating on Nomani, okay? I was meditating on her. And what came out of the meditation, all right? Because I had my little homemade deck of cards that I was shuffling in when I was thinking about her. And what came out of it, um, something about relationships, okay? And I didn't know whether she was in a relationship or not. Let me just say that. And did your sister Google and find out? Yes, I did, okay? Excuse me, a couple of information comes out. It's not coming out just for the hell of it. Please know that, all right? So anyway, these three cards came out, all right, when I was meditating on this sister. Now, you know what? Let, let me back it up first. Before I get started, whatever you see in here in this reading concerning the very beautiful and talented Nomani, um, it is not facts. We know this. It is allegedly, and this is for entertainment purpose only. Please know that, but I am led by the Spirit. And there is some truth coming out in this reading. Please know that. I will always say, let things play out, all right? Because a lot of girls, this sister is experiencing in the present. Please know that. Especially many of you um, who are her fans and you follow her, okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm sh you know, I'm sure many of you probably already know what this is about. But anyway, but if you don't, um, yeah, let, let, let the coming days and weeks go by. I'm sure a lot of this is going to start coming out, all right? So anyway, um, as I was meditating on the mind, three cards popped up, okay? And one of the cards was Jealous Friends, okay? This card says, Alert Envy, watch your back. Someone is jealous of you. Alert, okay? That's what this card is saying, all right? And yeah, they homemade cards, but my energy is, is in, my, in my cards, okay? And they be on point. So that's interesting. So according to the spirit, it's somebody that's around, you know, Namani. And for this to say a jealous friends, um, yeah, it's someone that's very close to her that's in her inner circle, okay? That she allowed to get close to her. Let me just say that. And um, yeah, I mean, this female, whoever this is, male or female, um, they are envious of her. And she really needs to watch her back. It, it's sad, you know, when you have friends like that, who needs enemies? All right. But some people like to keep their <clears throat> so-called enemy close, if you know what I mean, frenemies. So anyway, this popped up about Nomani. I'm like, mm, okay, that's interesting. So anyway, next what popped up is um, they are in a they are in a drama toxic entanglement relationship. Okay, 
that's what it, that's what it came out. They are in a drama, toxic entanglement relationship. And when I think about entanglement, I think about, you know, um, yeah, drama, toxic, but also I think about um, a complicated relationship, all right? The relationship is very complicated, and um, it's hard to have a peace of mind when you're in this type of relationship. You don't really know where your company is going, and you don't really know really where you fit in, if, if you know what I mean, Okay. Because, you know, for the most part, you're not, it's, it's, you're not the uh, ultimate, um, shall I say, ace in the relationship. There's always somebody else that's, you know, behind the scene that you could be sharing the individual with, if you know what I mean. Or the relationship could just be toxic, you know, just full of drama, one or the other. But entanglement is pretty much, you know, a complicated relationship. So this came out for Sunday in the morning, all right? And then this came out. It has here... They don't see nor value you. It has here, nope, nope, nope. It has here a wake-up call, but it says wake up. They don't see nor value you. That's on top. On the bottom, it says the same way as you see or value them. All right? So I'm like, hmm. I said, well, it's, you know, it's Lamani in a relationship. So then I Google. Yes, I did. I said, uh, the singer Nomani, you know, um, no, I said, I, I typed in who is the singer Nomani boyfriend. You know, I just typed it in because everything, whatever you want to know, you can just Google it. Okay. If it's there, it would be there. Now I'm going to say allegedly because I'm not sure if this is really her boyfriend or not. But then, uh, yeah, this popped up. This popped up. All right. And look what it says. This is the guy. And it's popped up. And I'm going to read it. It says, Ramir Colon, 22-year-old, identifies as pro-African-American and reportedly started dating Omani 25 over a year ago when the pair met after a backup dancer audition. Nomani officially announced their relationship in an interview with Houston 97.9 August and they have reportedly dated on, on and off over the last year, okay? And this right here was in 2021, last year, when, when this right here um, was posted, okay? As you see the date, it was 2021, okay? And I was like, okay, so they have like a more of an on and off type of relationship. So no wonder I'm seeing this right here. Yeah, it's on the other because the relationship is very toxic, okay? It's very toxic, full of drama. So anyway, <clears throat> I just wanted to share that before I really fully, you know, um, get started with this um, reading, okay? This is what I do when I'm doing a reading on the individual. I like to get an idea of what I'm looking at first. That way, when I'm doing a reading, I'm like, hmm, what do this mean? You know, what do this mean? Yeah, this is what it means, okay? This is what the spirit is trying to convey to us all. All right. I had to make sure I put my cards in here. All right, family. I'm going to real quick use the second tarot deck real quick. And before I get started, I want to thank you all for your love and support in my channel. I really appreciate you. If you have a um, celebrity um, request that you would like for me to do, please know I will get to it. I had to put it on the list because there are others. Um, I will get to it, but when it comes to crime readings and the missing, I put them in the front, and that's my passion. Every now and then, I like to take time to do celebrities reading, to get away from serious, serious readings. You know, it's good to take a break. So with that being said, let me go ahead and get started on this reading with Normani. She looks very beautiful right here. She was at the Met Gala and um, on the red carpet, and um, that's a beautiful, beautiful picture of her. Oh, man. And it's crazy. As talented as she is, she can sing, she can dance, and it's like, you know, for whatever reason, it seems like she's not really getting the, the credit or the exposure, shall, shall I say, for whatever reason. 
All right, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, we think all the truth of love and light, and clarity about Normani. And I think Normani is um 26 years old now. Divine Spirit, and clarity of Normani. What's really going on with Normani? What can we look forward to concerning Normani? To throw things in the dark, bring them out to a marvelous light of sunny Normani. What is currently going on with Normani? To get clarity about Normani. All right, I was told that's stop. Okay, family spirit told me to stop, but I want to see something real quickity quick, okay? We want to get to this. Please know that. I want to go back real quick. I just want to see something, family. Let me see something if it's still here. Yeah, this right here. This right here. This says they are in a drama, toxic, entanglement relationship. So I'm going to sit this here real quick, family, all right? And I also want to pick, pull out another deck before I do this real quick. I'm going to pull out real quick. <clears throat> Here it is. I'm going to use real quick the Divine Shadow Self Oracle. This deck right here, if you want to know anything about an individual as far as their character, as far as those shadow aspects of the individual that they embrace or they choose to ignore and put a band-aid on it, it will come out in this reading right here. Well, it will come out in, you know, as far as me using this deck. Let me just say that, okay? So anyway, and it will also let me know those shadow aspects that's either going on with the individual or around them, okay? that can influence an individual in a negative light. All right. Real quick, family. All right, Divine Spirit concerning the money. Can you clarify this card? They're in a drama, toxic, entanglement relationship. Oh, Divine Spirit, I've been speaking like you clarify the drama, toxic card. Divine Spirit, what are those toxic, what are those shadow aspects that's going on with the money in the present that she is dealing with? Divine Spirit, let me choose to know what are those shadow aspects that's going on in that relationship with the money? I feel like all of them want to come out and spirit so strong. Oops. 
Oh, I caught it. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. Ooh, okay. This is a little something, something, all right? I want to get an idea about, it says they are in a drama toxic relationship, okay? So it has here, bias. Antisocial. Now, I can't really see Nomani being antisocial. Maybe her boyfriend is antisocial. Maybe he's more of a um introvert, I guess. Cause she she seems more like she's more outgoing to me. But anyway, I'm just showing you what she's coming out. Depression. And when you get like this, things are not going it's not all how how do you say roses in the relationship? When you get like this, I mean that's not a good sign. Anxiety, stressing out. Feeling emotionally drained. Coercion. Coercion. Dealing with coercion. And this is right here is um using force or threats. Trying to persuade someone to do something that you don't want to do. I didn't mean to be the judge when it comes to that word. Deception. Wow, I'm not surprised. So there's some deception going on too. I told you entanglement. We're looking at maybe what? A third party in the mix. Unknown to Amani. She could be. If she's not the other woman, it could be an, another female or male or whatever you want to call it on the, on the side. Okay? Probably some sort of competition going, going on. Brainwash. And I feel like this is more on his end, allegedly. Trying to brainwash her. Antagonist. Um, some of these girls you gonna have to Google family. It's pretty much um, excuse me, hostility towards someone. Okay, someone feeling fearful. You know, rocket science to know who this is, and experiencing grief. The fact that I saw deception, that just lets me know somebody being very secretive, okay? In that in that union. Somebody being very secretive. <clears throat> they are in a drama toxic entanglement relationship. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodbye. Spiritual condition of clarity concerning the relationship that Numani is in. What are those shadow aspects concerning that relationship that is hidden from the public? What are those shadow aspects that's going on in the money relationship that's hidden from the public? What are those shadow? Okay, one failed. I hate when it happens. Hold on, family. Let me get it. But I'm not going to pause the uh, video. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to get it and I'm going to show it to you. Feeling disrespected. It has here disrespectful. <sighs> oh, do 
Right, three, one of those shadow aspects going on in the money relationship that's hidden from the public. I'm going to stop because I have other cards that I want to do. I'm just trying to get an idea what's going on with your sister behind the scene and her relationship. Because you'd be surprised how your relationship can affect you mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. All right? So we saw this one. It has here disrespectful. Desperation. humiliation now for you to be feeling this right here obviously somebody has really upset you and um you feel very disappointed okay and also feeling ashamed look at that experience of humiliation behind the scenes in that relationship ah i knew it secretive secretive So not only is there deception in that relationship that she currently in, this this on and off relationship that she's in, but also um deception and uh someone being very secretive, okay? And you know what? I'm not gonna really put it all just on him. You know, this is the um shadow aspects of the relationship that she's in, all right, because it came out right here. So I can't put all the blame on him. It takes two. And can nobody do more to you than you allow? Please know that. But that tells me a lot about her. If he is, you know, um, treating her like that, you know, uh, their relationship is pretty much on and off. You know, that tells me a lot about her and she's putting up with it. You know, you have to love yourself and honor yourself and get off that merry-go-round of, you know, going nowhere in a um, dead-end relationship. All right, let's continue. Because she deserves so much better. But that's for her to figure that out. All right, that's for her to figure that out. Okay, now. Let's continue with this reading. And there are timelines to my reading. I'm sure in here we're going to see a lot of ups and downs. I was setting my attention what's presently going on with Nomani. So a lot of this, she is presently, if she was around, she would say, oh, yeah, I resonate with a lot of this. And then a lot of this have to play out, okay? Mm. And from what I'm saying, I, I, I don't see her in a relationship that long. No wonder it's off and on. Okay? Hello, somebody. No wonder it is off and on. All right. Oh, my goodness. My goodness, my goodness. <sighs> Hold on, fam. I see something I want to read up on. Hold on. Okay, this right here is upside down. This is wisdom, okay? Not only does this card represent wisdom concerning the money, okay? Now, her card was upside down, okay? But I want to explain it to you. Not only does this card represent wisdom, it also represents somebody that's wise. See that? That's somebody that's wise, and they're looking back at family, they have the home, the husband, you know, the spouse, shall I say, and the kids, all right? They're looking, they're looking back at this, and they are inspired by what they see, okay? And this is somebody wise that's looking back at family, or they're, or they're inspired by what they see. Now, when it comes to the mind, her card is upside down. Upside down can, rep can represent the fool, okay? It can represent the fool, or this could be what Nomani desires, 
She desires someday to have a husband, the home, and the kid. Now, I'm sure she has the home, okay, because she's making money. She has her own money, but, you know, sometimes that's not enough. You know, she, she may want, you know, someday to be married and have her own family, okay? Her card is upside down. This is the next card. <clears throat> it's upside down. This is destiny. When I get this card, I think about someone that um, feels very lucky, okay? They feel like luck is on their side. Normani, I truly believe this can be, this can really pertain to her career or her personal relationship, okay? Her personal life. I'm going to say a little bit of both, okay? I'm going to say a little bit of both. You know, maybe, you know, she's feeling unlucky. You know, things are not really going her way in that relationship. Or it can be in her career. You know, the way she wanted to go, maybe things are moving kind of slow. It's not moving in the direction that she's hoping for, all right? Because I don't, I don't even think she has an album that's out. She's doing a whole lot of, she put out a whole lot of singles or, you know, um, it, you know, I, I haven't heard anything about her, you know, putting an album out yet. I think one is coming, but not yet. But anyway, Upside Down represents uh, someone that's not feeling lucky, okay? This is the next card. It's Upside Down concerning Imani. This is recognition and reward. This is someone who's put in the work, okay? They have put in the work and they are being acknowledged. Now, you can look at it from, from the perspective of job, career, or relationship. Yes, indeed. People put in the work when it comes to relationships as well, okay? And they want to be compensated. They want to be acknowledged. They want to be appreciated. When this card is upward, it's someone who's been acknowledged and appreciated and rewarded, whether it's due to your career, job, or relationship. Your money card is upside down. I let many be the judge with what the spirit trying to say concerning the money. Okay, if it's her career, maybe she feels like she's not being rewarded for her hard work. I don't know, has, has Namani received a award lately for anything? Um, when it comes to her relationship, maybe she's not being acknowledged, you know, um, in that relationship in all the ways that matter. But this is one who's working very hard. Whatever this means to Namani, this individual working very hard and they feel overlooked, okay? They do not feel rewarded at all. I can't make this up. Hmm. The next card concerning Namani is upside down. And I do read cards upside down, okay? This is discontent and boredom, right? This is the one who's longing for change. Yeah, so this is the one who's feeling very discontent, okay? The money card is upside down as always, okay? And I don't mean to say it like that, but, but I'm, I'm seeing a lot of, you know, some of these cards are upside down, you know, and the ones that are up, they don't look, they don't look very positive at all. So anyway, um, I'm going to read with this card with additional meaning to this card because it does have additional meaning. It says this card signifies a time when you may experience stagnation. That's like when things are not moving. You know, it's like you kind of like in stagnation. Things are not moving forward the way you had hoped. Or something going in circles. This card <clears throat> signifies a time when you may experience stagnation, discontent, and boredom. Feelings of restlessness and impatience surrounds you. A relationship, project, or a situation isn't moving forward fast enough and could be draining you emotionally and energetically. You're longing for change, and although one door may be closing, don't focus all of your energy on it as opportunities could soon knock. A window or another door could quickly open. And if your attention and awareness isn't focused, you could easily miss it. 
Watch for synchronicity events that bring books, speakers, workshops, and new people into your life. Excuse me, and any of these could possibly hold a message for you. Have faith in divine timing and know that everything changes for a reason. This card asks, acts as a reminder that it's a perfect time to reevaluate and search within your heart and soul for fresh insight. So as you see, um, yeah. It looked like um, she's longing for change, okay? She, she's not happy about something. She is not happy about something. Uh, pertaining to her so-called career, the way, it's, the way it's moving or the lack of or that relationship. But I feel like it's a little bit of both. All right. Who knows, family? Maybe in the coming days and weeks ahead, due to how this so-called relationship is going, it looks like my mind is going to be experiencing some form of heartache. All right? And this can be due to a loved one could could transition, someone close to her, a breakup. Okay, pretty much what this means to Nomani, all right? But um, this is heartache and loss, okay? So look, like Nomani is going to be experiencing some form of her heartache, okay? This is the next card. This is the Solitude card. When this card is upward, it represents solitude, but this is the one who's coming out of solitude. Had this card been up, upside down, I would say uh, my mind has spent a lot of time inside, okay? She's she's in solitude. She's by herself. You know, she won't be bothered. She's withdrawn inside. It looks like she's coming out of solitude, okay? Now, remember, there are timelines. Okay, we did see the temptation card. We saw secretive, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And we also saw the card that spoke about, uh, you know, beware of a so-called friend that's envious of you, okay? You know, watch your back with this so-called friend. This is the temptation card. So it looks like, now, Namani card is upward. Her card is upward. So it looks like she's going to be tempted. It looks like she's going to be experiencing some, sort of, some form of temptation. Now, that can be... That can be drugs, that can be alcohol, and I'm not saying she's going to go there. I'm just giving you some examples. Uh, it can be tempted or maybe hooking up with somebody else, you know, dipping, shall I say. Um, you know, it's pretty much what this means to her, all right? Um, also, when I think about this car, I think about, you know, addictions as well. And there are all kinds of form of addictions, you know. Um, mm. Let me see what's going on with you. Maybe she might be, you know, I'm just saying a maybe, okay? But maybe she might, she's in that she is in the industry when it comes to Hollywood. I'm just hoping that she won't lose her value and, and lose sight of herself by trying to prove herself and, you know, dibble and devil into things that she normally wouldn't, if you know what I mean, okay? By trying to, you know, uh, be validated by the world. All right, but anyway, although this call addiction and self limited behaviors are being addressed, this is a time when you or someone else in your life may be placing too much emphasis on the material, physical world and its pleasures. Even though we're all born connected to the divine source, we have a tendency to pull away from what was once natural. When we become disconnected from spirit, the source that once nourished us is often replaced with a different supply of substitute. In other words, the connection is forged with food, like addictions, alcohol, nicotine, codependency to someone, or even work, like a workaholic. Hence the term workaholic. Many of us spend our lives trying to fill the void that was once created when the link of <clears throat> to the divine was broken. The temptation card is calling you to take a hard look at life and ask yourself, where in my life am I suffering from addictive behavior? Is there negative thinking or behavior that's causing the life force to seep out of my soul? Are the, now check this out now, are the people and relationships in my life giving me energy or are they draining it? Hint. Their relationship. Learn to embrace your fears and all of your doubts so that every situation in your life becomes a learning experience. Gaining the knowledge that the physical world teaches will help you transcend to a higher spiritual awareness. 
So anyway, she's dealing with some form of temptation, okay, in her life or some form of addiction. Well, let me just say that she's she's she definitely uh, being tempted. Please know that, okay. All right, this is the next card: emotional loss. I told you she's just, she's gonna be if she's not presently experiencing this, she will be. All right, and I don't wish nothing on this sister. Okay, I'm just sharing the information. None of this is my opinion. You have to let things play out. And many of you who, who follow her. And um, just just check out the words come out of her out of her mouth. Check out her demeanor. You know, I mean, how she's looking and uh, how she's carrying herself. You know, just see if if she's in a happy place. You would know. You would know. No matter how much she might smile and try to be very private, still, you know, when you upset and you know you're hurting, it shows in one form of fashion. But it has here, according to the spirit, she will be experiencing an emotional loss. Now, as I stated, this could be very personal. This can be a loved one or someone dear to her it could transition. Or it can be a breakup. In this particular timeline, concerning the money, she's on top of the world. It has here new beginnings. All right. So who knows? Maybe she might end up breaking up with that um, boyfriend of hers again. But right here, she's on top of the world. This represents new beginning. This is the one who's moving forward. All right. They are moving forward and not looking back. Okay. This person is coming out of stagnation as well as going in circles. Especially if you've been in a dead end relationship, okay, to nowhere, this individual is moving forward, not looking back. And if the and if she was dealing with the, uh, I call it a mental conflict. I'm wondering is that in here? I don't see it. But if she was dealing with a mental conflict, and that's having the inability to get over something or someone, it's like something constantly playing out in your head, talking you to let it go. You know, right here, uh, she's coming out of it, and she is, uh, you know, moving forward. All right. Moving forward to bigger and better things. And I say good for her. Right here. Look at this. I told you. This is emotional withdrawal. This one who has a lot on their mind. You could say they're being hurt. They're disappointed. All right. This is moving away from something or someone. Okay. This is Numani in this particular timeline experiencing emotional withdrawal right when you right here you don't want to be bothered okay you, you want to be alone and you know uh just be to yourself all right right here concerning the money this is obstacles and challenges okay so as you see this is no money walking whatever this means to her but look at that she gotta jump over hoops just to get over here because it's a crack a stumbling block that's in the way. See that? And you know I'm going to read up on it because it have additional meaning. But it speaks for itself. She's she either presently or she's going to be experiencing some challenges, okay? <clears throat> and you know what? I feel the need to read up on this one too. It's self-explanatory, but I just want to read up on it because all these cards have additional meaning. This card represents moving away or withdrawing from a current situation in your life, whether it's a old love, a relationship, or leaving behind what was once familiar in search of a new horizon or beginning on a... See that? When it's a old love, a relationship, or leaving behind what was once familiar in search of a new horizon or beginning on a physical level it's easy to get caught up in the materialistic world but it's just as important to retreat to retreat from the outside world to enable you to pause reflect and heal schedule some alone time so you can commune with your soul and give the power of spirit the opportunity to restore your energy level, giving you the vitality to move forward in life in a positive direction. Okay? Now, let's get to this. Hold on, I just saw. Where is it at? Hold on, family. I just had it. One minute I had it and the next I didn't. Hold on. 
I apologize for the background noise. My little queen is doing her, all right? She is having a ball. <clears throat> this will be holding me up, I tell you. Give me a minute, family. I'm going to get there. I'm trying to find it. Any other time I can go straight to it. This cover presents the obstacle, power struggles, and challenges that you must face in order to overcome them. This could be a difficult period to get through, but it's not impossible if you open your mind and see the bigger picture of how something went wrong. Don't get caught up in it. Just pause, stand back for clarity. Observe where adjustments are required or watch decisions, I'm sorry, or which decisions may need to be changed to enable you to move forward in a positive direction. So anyway, um, as I stated, it looks like she's going to be dealing with some challenges, okay? But it's what she do about it that's going to determine everything. And I truly believe that she's going to make the right decision because we saw this card right here. All right. She's going to start moving forward and getting off that merry-go-round or whatever it is that's bothering her. Now, right here, this is financial and material changes. Now, out of challenges, okay, out of challenges, up represents gain, upside down represents losses. It looks like the money is going to be experiencing some form of a, a gain, okay, because this says financial and material changes. Okay, so uh, out of the change and definitely out of challenges, let me just say that no mind is going to be experiencing a change of gain in some form of fashion. Okay, and this is very positive. This is the next card concerning the money. This is the throat chakra card. It represents I speak. This is the one who's speaking up and speaking out. Okay. I'm going to say in this particular timeline right here, maybe maybe this is where she's at in the present. She's not speaking up at all, okay? And maybe she's speaking up behind the scenes, but as far as speaking her truth, um, her testimony, shall I say, or whatever this means to her, she's not speaking up about what's going on with her right now, okay? She's keeping it to herself. This is the next card concerning Nomani. This is the heart chakra card. It represents I love, okay? No mind is giving up the vibration I don't love, okay? I don't love someone anymore or I don't love something, okay? It's something that she don't love or, you know, I want to say she don't like, but I'm going to say, you know, excuse me, that she does not love, okay? Maybe that's so-called, <clears throat> you know, I, I let me be the judge when it comes to that. Maybe it's something pertaining to the career that she doesn't like, okay? It can be that. It doesn't necessarily have to be the relationship. It can be something going on behind the scenes that we don't know anything about that she sees, that she's been experiencing that she doesn't like, okay? But it says, I don't love. This is the next card concerning the money. This is patient and planning. So behind the scenes, okay, this sister is being very patient and she is planning her next move. This is the next card concerning Nomani, okay? This is triumph and success. Now, upward, we know it's a positive omen, depending on what this means to Nomani. Her card is upside down. According to the spirit, there would be no success, no triumph, nor success in this matter, okay? It just depends on what this means to her, whether it's her personal life or business, okay? But something's going on to where something is not going to work out in her favor, okay? And I truly believe Nomani is a workaholic, all right? But right here, she's taking time to pause and rest, okay? She's taking time to reflect and meditate. Good for her. She's seeking answers from within. You could say she's doing a lot of praying, and she's also meditating and resting, okay? In this particular timeline, that's what she's doing. She's seeking answers from within. Now, according to the spirit concerning Nomani, Events that are playing out in Numani's life are moving very fast, okay? If she's waiting on some news or, or waiting to do something, 
Um, she won't be waiting that long, okay? If she, wait, if she waiting on some news, she's gonna hear about it very soon. If many of you are waiting on some news concerning the money, you're gonna hear about you're gonna hear about it uh, about it soon. Um, this is accelerated motion. Upward things are moving very fast behind the scenes. If she's trying to manifest, uh, let me just say whatever it is that she's trying to manifest, uh, it's coming. Okay, it's coming. So uh, whatever this means to the money, um, she won't be waiting too long. Okay, things are moving very fast behind the scenes. And I'm not surprised to see this card. This is conflict and defeat. I don't have to read up on this. It's, it speaks for itself. With this card, this lets me know that Nomani behind the scenes, okay? It can be pertaining to something going on, you know, um, in the industry, okay? Conflict that she's experiencing in the industry or her personal life, you know, her love life. But this is Nomani experiencing conflict. Um, you could say um, conflict, like verbal, you know, communication, uh, conflict, um, it, or it can be physical conflict, okay? It could be a fight, some sort of power struggle, okay? But um, Nomani is not defeated, okay? And this probably upside down, I would say she felt defeated, but she's still landing on her feet, okay? So she will be experiencing some form of conflict. Um, please know that, all right? And I said I wasn't going to read it, but I'm going to read it. You know me, I, I want many of you to receive clarity when it comes to, you know, these cards. The number five mental card represents significant learning and changes. And how you handle yourself at this time is vital to your overall well-being. This card could relate to lack of sensitivity in taking action or response to conditions or situations around you. This needs for sensitivity could relate to to you or someone else in your life. Even though a battle can be won, it's important to evaluate the cost and pain to both parties. Sometimes it's best to surrender and walk away if no answers or victory can be achieved. Okay? So, yes, yeah, she's going to be experiencing some form of a conflict behind the scenes. All right, the next card concerning the money in this particular timeline, this is the light card, okay? When I think about this card, I think about somebody that if they were like inside, they're coming outside because the sunlight is hitting her body. Also, this card represents renewal of life and contentment and growth. So when I look at this card, I think about the money coming out of, out of a difficult, um, challenging time, okay? That's what I'm thinking about. Um, that's going to pop up in my spirit. This is Nomani coming out of a difficult, dark, challenging time, and she is feeling renewed, okay? It's like she getting her jush back, and if she was in the dark, she's now seeing the marvelous light, all right? Especially a yicky, yicky, toxic relationship. All right. This is the next card. This is Upside Down concerning Nomani. This is firm foundation. Now, we know Nomani has money, all right? We know she has money. I don't know how much money she has, but she has money. So she has that little financial cushion, I'm sure, security in the bank. But not only does it represent money, it represents firm foundation, family. When I think about this, I think about money. I think about family, you know, um, when I think about this right here. Now, I don't know um, how things are when it comes to Nomani relation, when it comes to her family, okay? I don't I don't know if the bond there is very strong or, you know, or not, okay? But upper represents a strong, firm foundation, okay? Like a person has security, financial security, okay? Now, her card is upside down. And just because people have money, you'd be surprised. You know, a lot of people don't, you know, uh, save like they should. You know, um, you know, a lot of people are very foolish when it comes to their money. You know, they have it, one, one minute they have it, and the next is gone, you know. But anyway, I'm going to read up on this card, because hers is upside down. But upside down represents um, the lack of firm foundation. Um, let me see here. Okay. This card denotes that you have already or or are currently working towards establish a solid foundation in the material world using good judgment. Now you hear that using good judgment 
and heeding lessons from past concerning financial matters will assist you in laying a firm groundwork. By doing so, security will have a better chance of building in the future. So it looks like her foundation is kind of weak, okay? It looks like her foundation is kind of weak. Well, I'm not going to say kind of at all. It's, it's something that she's doing, okay? It's something that she's doing. And um, let me see here. The material power that's now around you can either be an advantage or a disadvantage. Do you hear that? Depending on how you respond to it, don't let your current position determine who you are. Remember to give back and prime the pump of prosperity for true spiritual and material wealth is as much about giving as it is receiving. Seek proper investments. Okay, so the spirit is saying the money needs to start investing her money too. Seek proper investment advice and realize that you don't have to hold on to your positions too tightly be flexible and allow things to continue to grow so you know i've read up on it i let me be the judge whatever this means to the money so it's not like she doesn't have money but she needs to be very wise how she spend it and also maybe and do you know do some invest investment you know, because um, she's still young now. She's very young. And a lot of these people, you know, in the industry, uh, these new, um, these newbies, shall I say, you know, uh, they have the money, but they go through it so fast, you know, because um, a lot of them don't like, um, you know, handle their money in a wise way as far as, you know, making investments and, um, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to leave this alone. Hers is upside down, okay? Her foundation, her foundation is very weak. So she need to really, she need to really watch her spending. Spend wisely. <clears throat> okay. This is the next card for Sonny and Armani. And it's the next one and the last one. Her card is upside down. This is the disruption card. Okay, family? Now, when this card is upward, it represents new money, new money okay? The disruption card is due to one's weak foundation. Not only that, but if this card was upward, because her card is upside down, but if it was upward, I would say it's something that Numani doing, not only is she causing disruption in her foundation, but also, hold on, but also how she's moving out here, okay? Due to her actions and the choices that she's making, she is causing havoc in her personal life and it's you know just um just disturbing her peace if you know what i mean you know she doesn't have a peace of mind due to you know her poor choices that's the point i'm trying to make all right which causing a disruption in her foundation okay in her life now this card is upside down so it's not numani all right it's somebody that's outside of numani that she let get close to her that is causing her to lose her peace of mind, okay? And we're not surprised who that individual is, okay? We're not surprised who that is, okay? That's causing a lot of uh, havoc in her life, okay? Pretty much destroying her peace of mind. But this is not Numani. This is the one that's outside of her, that she let get close to her. It can be that so-called fake friend that's envious of her or that um, so-called boyfriend, all right? I'm going to read up on it. So you can all can put the pieces together, okay, for yourself. And it does have additional meaning, so have ears to hear. A sudden, unusual, unforeseen disruption or a major change is happening or is about to take place. Even if it appears to be a negative experience, it can lead to enlightenment or a total shift in your lifestyle. In traditional tarot meaning, this card represents the falling tower that eventually crumbles due to its weak foundation. Whichever part of your life you focus on this is an opportunity to rebuild with a solid positive structure to make you or the situation even stronger there are times when the most difficult situation arise in your life if you choose to they can act as a catalyst to heal 
other areas. They're beneficial because they're truly your greatest teacher. Learn from the past mistakes, accept them as accept them and integrate them into your life as stepping stones. Now remember her card is upside down now. To be forewarned, to be forearmed. This disruption is a reminder that negative thinking and limited beliefs, ignoring, ignoring problematic situations and risky or careless lifestyle must be addressed so that positive change can take place. Like, hold on. Let me read it one more time. This card is a reminder that negative thinking, limited beliefs, ignoring problematic situations and risky or careless lifestyle must be addressed so that positive change can take place. Life has a habit of moving you forward whether you're ready or not. Transformation, body, mind, and soul can happen if you view this traumatic time or change as an opportunity for growth. In the future, you may look back and be thankful for this opportunity. Now, those are some additional meanings to this card, but also... By this card being upside down, it represents somebody that's outside of, of Numani that she let get close to her, okay, is causing havoc in her life. They disturbing her peace. But she let this individual get close to her, okay? And we saw in the beginning, one card let me know that she was in a toxic, okay, uh, entanglement, unhealthy relationship. Also, one card... Um, came out to let me know that uh, Nemonic has a so-called friend, but this friend is very envious and jealous of her, okay? And how she should watch her back when it comes to this friend. Now, I'm not saying that this friend is messing with her man, now. I'm not saying all that, but still, people can be envious of you for many, many reasons, of your accomplishments, okay? Of your success. Anyway, that's it, family. I thank you, I thank you for your love, supporting my channel. I appreciate you. I ain't wishing this sister all the best. Um, as I stated, I don't know too much about these, you know, celebrities. You know, I just use my gifts. If it's something I want to know, you know, um, I tap inside and I get those answers from the spirit. But please know a lot of this is going to play out. And a lot of this you're going to hear about and a lot of this you're not. Depending on Namani, if she's a private individual, she's going to keep a lot to herself. She's not going to speak on her business. But still, no matter how much a person smiles now, a lot of times they are dying on the inside and they are hurting. And, um, you know, it still shows up in their demeanor, in their face. Okay? So be paying attention when you're watching her, if she's on, you know, Twitter and Snapchat and all of that. I don't have, you know, Facebook. And these, I'm just here on YouTube, but, you know, pay to her demeanor and the words that come out of her mouth, okay? Um, who knows? She, she might speak on certain things that's going on with her and she might not. But anyway, I'm wishing this sister all the best. She's very talented. And um, as you see, Namani knows, she knows due to her hard work, all right? She's very talented. She knows she's not being acknowledged in a way that really, really matters, Okay. Um, for whatever reason, you know, that's just how Hollywood is, you know, um, they're just playing these, um, celebrities, these singers and rappers, you know, they just have them like a puppet, you know, and, um, but I am praying for her success, um, and definitely for her to, you know, um, get her judge back as far as operating self-love and know that she deserved better because she's definitely um, been going in a whirlwind circle in that so-called relationship. That's why it's off and on, off and on. But it is for her to get off the merry-go-round. And I truly believe, I truly believe that she's going to get off that merry-go-round because we saw the card, new beginnings, okay? So much love to Namani. I wish her all the best. And thank you for being loyal. If you've been with me this far, you're definitely loyal. Please like, share, and subscribe. Much love to you, family. Thank you for watching. And bye for now.